finest. Word has just come of a Spanish merchant ship. The calm, helpless, off the coast of Tangiers. Our men are ready to strike. Then why don't they strike? They wait for Barbarossa to lead them. Let them wait. There will be other ships. Now, which ungrateful baggage? The most recent. The one you were to wed tomorrow. The gift of His Highness, the Sultan of Anand. How lovely, how understandable, but how unfortunate for Barbarossa. Barbarossa? Is that his name? That was his name. Find that red-bearded sea captain of mine and deliver him to the executioner. my ship into these windless and treacherous waters. I have as little control over the winds and the tides as I do over my own life behind this wheel. Silence is insolent tongue. <laughs> this calm would only lift. <laughs> All the infernal waters in which to be caught without any wind. At least the pirates of Tangiers cannot attack us in this calm. I prefer my chances with a full sail. Throw them in the hole with the rest of the scum. One move and he dies. Cut him loose. Where are you bound? The Caribbees. The Spanish island of Tortuga. Your cargo. Prisoners of Spain to be sold as slaves for gold. Good. I can use both. You, you know the course to the Caribbees? I've sailed it twice. Once as a buccaneer. Again, as a slave behind this wheel. Would you sail it again as a free man? It would give me great satisfaction. Release the prisoners. Bring them on deck. Release them. This is all of them. I'm the new master of this ship. My name is Barbarossa. Captain, the world, my unfortunate friends, is an oyster. Open it, you'll find happiness, freedom, wealth, all glistening in one small pearl. 
yours for the taking. He's right. Yeah, being so. It takes strong arms, stout hearts, and sharp knives to cut loose this pearl. That's a piracy. This blackguard's head is wanted by every navy in the seven seas. Listen to this cutthroat and you'll all die in the torture racks. Ben! I have suffered the torture racks. I'll take my chances with Barbarossa. Which will it be? The weapons are there. Slavery or freedom by any name? Freedom! And piracy is agreeable as your last position. Life is a series of positions that merely fluctuate with time. Oh, but the Sultan's harem. He had the finest taste in the world. And the most ungenerous mind. But this was the Sultan's favorite wife. Oh, no, my friend. You do not understand. This was a new addition. A pretty young flower he was to have wed. He allowed it to stagnate for four whole days in the harem. My curiosity was merely greater than the Sultan's. Well, I shall enjoy revisiting the Caribbees. Oh, you've been there before. I was born there. Then you're Spanish. My mother was French. My father, a Spanish privateer, who interrupted her journey to marry the governor of San Domingue. She was born a countess. Died a slave. And you, Barbarossa? I was trained to pull an oar in a galley until a lucky storm washed me ashore at Tangiers and into the service of the Sultan of Morocco. The rest I know. Because of you, Tangiers has become a coast to avoid. <laughs> Renzo Pescara, the first mate. He was hiding during the whole fight. See, there was not a scar on him. Does your courage depend on numbers? Are you strong only when you hold a whip over helpless men? I use my courage where it'll do me the most good. You have the face of a rogue and a tongue to match. What'll we do with him? Uh, the brine of the sea may add salt to his courage. Throw him overboard. Wait! You say you were first mate of the ship? I was first mate of this ship. I've been captain of many in the service of His Majesty, the King of Spain, before I was broken. Why were you broken? I couldn't account for some booty taken in His Majesty's name. I couldn't account for some booty either. You've just been promoted from death. Oh, but Captain E. We need experienced sailors. You won't regret this. Regrets can always be buried. But first, we have business with the French governor of Saint Domingue. Saint Domingue? I thought we sailed for Tortuga. This whole galley of slaves was destined there. We shall not disappoint them. We'll deliver the slaves. But first, we visit the French. We have need of allies, and the French, I think, will be glad to commission us as a privateer. Set the course. San Domingue, then Tortuga. Aye, aye, sir. Good night, gentlemen.
Captain Delgado. Are the slaves ready for delivery? Ready, Captain. Loose enough? You know your orders. Careful. I am Captain Romero, sir. You are welcome to Tortuga. Captain Don Delgado, the Santa Margarita. You may deliver the prisoners for inspection. First, there is a matter of money. The money, Captain, is waiting for you after the inspection of the prisoners. 400 pieces of gold. Only 400 pieces of gold for 60 slaves? Fit and fat? That was the price. Those were my orders from the governor. I shall have to have a talk with your governor. Show Captain Delgado the way. Absolutely lovely. What are you doing here? How dare you? Senorita, the Sultan's harem has just faded from my memory. Who are you? About uh, Captain Don Delgado. You must be insane, Captain. No, no. Just a poor wretch of a sailor who's dreamed of a woman like you for 60 salty celibate days. Oh, you are insane, Captain. No, again. To begin with, I only came here to relieve the unhappy ancient that presides over this mud hole of some of his ill-gotten riches. I take it you mean the governor. The governor can wait, but you, where can I find you later? You'll have no difficulty in finding me later. Good, you lucky, lovely creature. You're the first woman I've looked at since I landed. And the last. If you behave yourself sensibly, and I'm sure you will. You silly little wench, call these dolts off before you get into trouble. Oh, trouble? I have an appointment with the governor. How interesting, Captain. He's waiting for me now. Take this man to his appointment. I, uh, I only meant it as an improvement. And who is this man? This man came with him, Excellency. Excellency? In my father's absence, I am entrusted with the governing of Tortuga. You know, Captain, your posture, your actions, and the attitude of your tongue are as strange as the ship you command. Now, what account can you give for the absence of a Spanish crew? His Majesty's Governor General in Havana will answer for my loyalties. I demand my release. You demand, Captain. I suggest our immediate departure for Havana. An excellent suggestion. Take command of his ship and see that the good captain is returned to His Excellency the Governor General. We will find out just who these men really are. 
Under the circumstances, however, I shall have to refuse to deliver the slaves. Refuse? I reject your right to take them from me. Reject, Captain. I suggest... You suggest? I have no further suggestions. Bring the slaves here instantly and take them out of my sight, both of them. Your slaves present a happier picture than you will when you face the Governor General, Captain. That's all, Roos. The Greeks used the identical strategy to capture Troy. Only they used a wooden horse. I used shackles. And now, if you're quite finished, I demand my release. Demand? Which reminds me, did you find Captain Romero? No, Master. Did you look everywhere? He managed to escape. Uh, You'll take a warning to Havana. Your laughter will change its tone when Captain Salcedo comes to look for you. Captain Salcedo? Who is the Salcedo? Grandson of the Governor General, fiance of the Countess here. Fiance? It is well known. Their marriage was arranged in Spain. Arranged? Pray tell me, what manner of man is this that can find so much in one woman that he will play the role of fiance? <laughs> A man whose exploits in the Caribbean speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. Man of importance. We shall demand a, a dowry for the safe return to your ardent swain. She's worth a hundred thousand gold pieces. Mm -hmm. He will pay it gladly, but you won't live to enjoy it. We will see. Meantime, put this precious jewel in a safe setting. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Put me down! What have we here? I am spokesman for the prisoners your rival has liberated. Well, then you better liberate him, pig. <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. My name is Barbarossa. Barbarossa? You've heard of me? No, but I am grateful for your existence. <laughs> <laughs> the prisoner's chosen honest spokesman. What's your name? That too. Born in slavery. I pull a good oar in a galley. I have no doubt you do. How many men do you bring us? Upward of 80. This means more men to share with, more men to take care of. And more ships. But our strength lies in being able to strike and run fast. Our strength lies in being strong enough to hold our ground. He is right. Thank you. Listen, Redbeard, the harbor of Santa Maria across the island is always plenty full with ships. And Spaniards? Not too many. Datu, you're a valuable addition to my staff. <laughs> Take a man and scout the harbor of Santa Maria. Datu will guide you. Be quick about it. We cannot risk delay. Romero will alert the entire garrison in Havana. Ramon. <laughs> Father. Forgive me, Your Excellency, but I must protest again. Captain Salcedo's plan to rescue the Countess Alida is pointless. Pointless? Is this beggar Barbarossa to go unpunished? I'm afraid your grandson's natural concern for the Countess is affecting his judgment as a soldier. My dear Goethe, we're fully aware of your worth as a soldier, but it is evident that your rise from the common ranks hasn't educated you in the manners of a gentleman. My education has proven itself on the battlefield. In the courts of His Majesty, I was taught to prize the honor and safety of a lady higher than your easy conquests of a few French islands. If you will excuse a commoner's bluntness, this pirate will undoubtedly demand a ransom. Such payment does not require the use of His Majesty's fleet. Your Excellency, it is my understanding that Barbarossa has been commissioned a French privateer. When I return with the Countess, I will present the good captain with this pirate's head.
This buccaneer may prize his head above your noble lineage. Enough! Enough of this bickering! My son, please! Captain Goiti, His Excellency is ailing! Yes, I'm sick. I'm dying. Your Excellency, we've presumed enough on your illness. By your leave, I will take the fleet to Tortuga. Go, go, take the fleet. And will you cease challenging my authority? I have never challenged His Excellency's authority, nor doubted his love for his grandson. The king's business can wait. There are more guns in the port. See that none are left behind. It'll take days to load everything you want. South Sato's fleet will be arriving shortly. Let that unhappy thought speed your efforts. Hey, Barbarossa. Welcome, Barbarossa. Oh, Captain. We stowed the gunpowder in the hold. Good. And I might add, it sits more comfortably than we did as prisoners. The Countess? Oh, I gave her the first mate's cabin. I think I'll go and accept her thanks. <laughs> Come in. Well, comfortable? No. I warn you again, every indignity I suffer will be returned a thousandfold by Captain Salcedo. What man among my crew has offered you grief? Name him, I'll have him flogged. You! Me? Yes, you! Look at this foul hole you're confining me in. It's clean. It isn't big enough to hold your self-opinion. Oh, a thousand pardons, milady. I'm sorry. My mind must have been slipping. Would the guest quarters on our ship satisfy you? It will suffice until Captain Salcedo comes here to chop you into carrion for the vultures. After you, milady. Quite so smug when you and that red beard of yours dangle from a Spanish yard arm. This way, my lady. You wouldn't dare. You must admit it has the space you demanded. Although your slaves, when they occupied these quarters, there were a few too many of them to fully appreciate the size of the room. Take me back to my cabin. When you've learned some manners, when you say, Barbarossa, may I please return to my quarters? I will never say you it. You will say it on your bended knees. Never! And with feet. Never, never! And accustom yourself to the size of your new quarters. Ow! You steal everything, don't you? Remember, on your knees and with feeling. There are many things I will remember. Santa Maria. <laughs> what is it? We searched the town for the largest and most important house. And right in the middle of the largest room, we found him. Eating bananas. And he won't talk. Not a word. May I make a suggestion? If you please. <laughs> Build a slow fire under the cargo about there. <laughs> I, I feel that that would chart Santa Maria like a talking compass. Sounds like an interesting suggestion. <laughs> Pablo, torch. Talk. I'll have you know that I'm mayor of Santa Maria by appointment of the Governor General. Sounds like we're reaching the seat of matters. <laughs> 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 
we've reached it. <laughs> I still can't understand you're preferring this to the first mate's cabin. I'd rather wither and die here than submit to that pompous, insolent barbarian. Oh, my poor Santa Maria. He will destroy my beautiful city. Santa Maria? Is that where he plans to attack? Yes. By the most painful means you have ever known, he wormed out of me the military weakness of our fair city. Oh, if I could only get free to warn them. Or if I could get free. Escape to warn Captain Salcedo. Yes. So that red-bearded cutthroat wants romance, does he? Barbarossa! You're not inviting him here. Yes, I'll find some way to get free. Barbarossa! Oh, that smug wretch. Barbarossa! Please, Barbarossa, may I return? Please. Why the sudden change of mind? See, I am begging on my knees and with feeling. <laughs> well, a bargain's a bargain. I have been a silly little dolt, haven't I? Perhaps I was a little overbearing myself. I think I could learn to like a man who is forceful. You shall have endless opportunities after I take Santa Maria. Such boundless confidence, Captain. Confidence is essential to any victory, my lady. As to Santa Maria, we're grateful to your friend, the mayor, for some very special information. But I hope you will be my guest at the Victory Banquet. I can't think of anything I'd like better. seafaring custom, my lady. My men expect it of me. Do you mind? Not at all. I can't expect to change all of your piratical customs in one day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Barbarossa is so in love with the Countess that he finds all else uninteresting? Love. The Countess is merely a prisoner of great value. The prisoner is very beautiful. She is 
deep in the jungle when I caught her. Good work, Renzo. I was hoping you were beginning to enjoy my company. I will enjoy it when you are stretched to the four winds on a torture rack. Your hands, they're bleeding. Those men hurt you. They were only doing your work. You could easily have died out there in the jungle. At least I would have cheated you out of the gold you priced me at. The gold would have been a small loss. As small as your existence. As small as everything you stand for. Perhaps you can tell me what I do stand for. You're a pirate. A man is many things. To the Sultan of Morocco, I'm an outcast. To the French, an ally. To you, a pirate. To them, a savior. Barbarossa. Before we left this lookout in Tortuga brings word of the Spanish. Their fleet has arrived. Soldier, tell me about their fleet. Her bridegroom seeks his bride. Captain Salcedo, I warned you. He'll be here next. <laughs> We're leaving. Make the necessary arrangements. Aye, sir. I'm afraid we shall have to disappoint your fiance. There will be no wedding. So you're running away? Merely to prolong our association. You need time to recognize my hidden values. Your values are as shallow as your excuses for cowardice. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I am looking for an excuse. Perhaps I'm hoping that someday you'll thank me for saving you from the boredom of Salcedo. How dare you? How much longer must I submit to your conceit? How long do you intend to trade on my helplessness? Helplessness? Renzo! I shall make my demands upon your bridegroom immediately. Renzo! Only I will not ask for a hundred thousand pieces of gold. You're not worth it. I'll ask for only 50. And I doubt if even Salcedo will think you worth that. He would pay 10 times that. We will see. And more. We will see. 50,000 gold pieces. Yes, Your Excellency, 50,000. To be delivered by the Capitano, alone. Oh, the man is preposterous. It is still cheaper than your fruitless trips to Tortuga and Santa Maria. Or is it your wish to employ the entire Spanish fleet to settle your marital yearnings? Your insolent tongue has gone far enough. What's that? You wish to give me a lesson in manners? Enough! Enough, both of you. May I advise that the ransom be paid and we resume our war against France? Your Excellency, Barbarossa has already seized two of our Spanish ships as a French privateer. By destroying him, we are waging war against France. That is true, that is true. This Barbarossa, what manner of man is he? Well, let me see. He's, um, it would take hours to do him justice. Is, is he misshapen? No, no, he's magnificent. All women swoon in his presence. The Countess, where is she? The torture rack will provide the information I want. My master has similar plans for the Countess. If I do not return immediately, and in one piece, I fear, Your Excellency, your grandson's emotions are dimming his intelligence. I advise you to accept Barbarossa's demand. You advise anything that would diminish me and add to your luster, to have me pay instead of fight. But Barbarossa's demand that you go alone may be a trap. Oh, no, 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 Senora. My master is very sensitive in matters of the heart. He thinks it fitting that the Capitano bring her home. However, if he is afraid, Perhaps Barbarossa would accept me in your place. I'm sorry to have to disappoint you. By your leave, Excellency. Your Excellency. Captain. Follow him. How much farther? Only a little way. Contessa speaks of you endlessly, Capitan Salcedo. And most highly. Be a good marriage. I must confess my master was more than attracted to the Contessa. But he could not shake you loose from her mind. Your courtship must have been... Uh, must have been... Uh, most ardent. My courtship and the Countess is no concern of yours. So, so true, Capitano, so true. Only the gold. I trust it was 
carefully counted? Yes. Well, they're still alone, only about two kilometers ahead. We'll proceed more slowly. We are arrived. Be here shortly, Capitano. Alita, are you all right? Yes, of course. Where are the others, the rest of this cutthroat crew? I have the honor of representing that cutthroat crew, Captain. He is alone? Don't let my singularity sway your good judgment, Captain. Let us complete our peaceful mission of exchange. Yes, Capitano. The gold. We have far to go, and sometimes Barbarossa becomes impatient. Very. Then hurry back to your peasant dog and tell him there'll be no gold. Oh, so there will be no gold. I seem to remember Barbarossa said that you would not consider the counters worth even 50,000. Give him the gold, Jose. Give the barbarian his gold. I think if you paid Barbarossa even one piece of gold, he would consider that he had bested you in the bargain. Pay it all, Jose. Pay it all, please. Tell Barbarossa Captain Salcedo does not bargain with pirates. Pay him, Jose. And tell this misbegotten creature if he ever crosses my path, I'll crush him like a worm underfoot. Why don't you tell him yourself, Captain? I am Barbarossa. I hope you're as wrong about his swordsmanship as you were about his paying the gold. willing to pay. Ah, do you regret you didn't kill me when you had the chance? I admire the way he always thinks of you first, Countess. Alina knows I would die for her. Oh, no, you would kill for her, but you would not die for her. His love for you is not as great as the cold comfort of his gold. Now you've lost both, till you've come to take them back. Release it quickly. And now, 
my noble captain. I'm anxious to see the pirate's head you promised me. I notice you timed your arrival to avoid a meeting with him. Captain, look. Look. Winwood Bay. Obviously, your fiance is no longer concerned with your health. What do you mean? She's inviting you to a second encounter with Barbarossa. And you're first, my braggart captain. Next time, I shall arrange that you arrive in time to meet him. Barbarossa! Pegleg, welcome! Cheer up, Countess. I think you'll find more warmth at Windward Bay than you will with your fiancé. Why didn't you leave me with him? I feel I should deliver you to a man who values your charms more than his gold. I notice you didn't spurn the gold. Brought her back. Also the gold. Barbarossa! Barbarossa! That too. You did well, Barbarossa. But I have done even better. Oh, your scouting mission uncovered a treasure? Nothing so rare as your lady, but two fat Spanish galleons. Wonderful. Where? Forty leagues south of here. Also, a score of galley slaves who would help us acquire them. We shall add to our fleet. Pegleg, see to our ships. Ah, uh, Asta. We've been lucky so far. Why attack two ships? Why not wait until we have the advantage? See to our ships. This time I shall enjoy meeting the Spanish. This time you will stay at Windward Bay. But Redbeard... No, the women need help in constructing shelters to house our growing wealth. Women. I shall be pleased to stay and lose sight of you. I shall be pleased to keep an eye on you. You're traveling with me. Like overripe plums.
raises the price of your freedom. From now on, the Spanish will not have to look for me. I shall find them. strikes our small garrisons and is gone like a ghost. As your late grandfather's successor, I want results, not excuses. I've deployed our forces everywhere to trap him. But he continues to elude me to avoid a direct encounter, Your Excellency. Our advice from Spain is that you had such an encounter, Captain. A face-to-face -face encounter with this pipe. Does Your Excellency the Governor have any other plan to suggest? Well, I wasn't going to bring it up at this time, but... Uh... His Majesty feels that a change in authority will prove a tonic. Captain Goethe, I have the pleasure of announcing your promotion to General. You will take command of His Majesty's forces in the Caribbees. Your Excellency! Were you about to request a return to Spain, Captain? <laughs> Are you going to toast the General's promotion? To our general. To our general. <laughs> Fellow citizens of Windward Bay, through our recent adventuring, we have all prospered greatly in worldly goods. But it now appears some of you are not content with the perils of the high seas, but are foolish enough to contemplate marriage. Those so disposed join hands. As former sea captain of the Sultan of Morocco, as captain of the Santa Margarita, as your appointed chief, I declare that you are wed. <laughs> Ceremony. And very dignified, too. Thank you. I think it was disgraceful. No more disgraceful than the marriage you were willing to go through with. A cold-blooded arrangement made while you were still in the cradle having nothing to do with the heart. <laughs> now you think you can read my heart. I should have left you with Salcedo. You deserve him. You're no better than he is. He was willing to lose me for gold. You're willing to sell me for gold. First, you do. Always end up like husband and wife.
Which one? Oh, the bright one. Oh, that one. That's Polaris. It's the North Star. It sits comfortably on the tip of the tail of the bear. <laughs> <laughs> There's an awful lot of them to learn, Peg Leg. Yes, I know. But all together, they form a blanket of protection for the traveler. You learn them well, son, and you can navigate any sea across any land. Countess, Barbarossa sends his respects. He will dine with you. Be ready within the hour. Tell the master I shall be ready. And then when he kisses his wife to go aboard ship, I take my leave. She will be ready. to you later. Stay, all of you. This is my tent and these are my guests. Get out! No. These are free men. Didn't you set them free? Or are they free only to do your bidding? A coarse manner doesn't become you. What manner does become a slave? Or am I not to be shared equally, along with 50,000 gold pieces among your conquering heroes? to blame her. You cannot wall in a free spirit. Her actions cannot be masked by pretty phrases. You've said enough. I must speak. A man is still a slave who is afraid to speak his heart. I, I'm sorry for you. Sorry for me? Because you will not admit your love. What difference would it make? Besides, she hates me. I like a good hater. They love unreasonably. I should have left her with Salcedo. And perhaps you should have left his gold with him. That money may mean a wealth of happiness to you if you spend it in the right quarter. What do you mean? Return Salcedo's gold to him. Let him have it. What good would that do? Haven't you heard her often enough? Doesn't her conversation always come back to the same bitter end? In her heart, in her mind, she means only gold to you. The gold is Salcedo's loss. And perhaps your loss, too, if you seek happiness with her. So let me return it. 
For your own happiness, Barbarossa, let me return it. All right, Pegleg. See that the gold is returned tomorrow. And tonight, I'll tell the Countess. I'm sure she'll be very happy. Escape to Havana. You? I bribed two men to guide you. The boat is small, but safe. You must leave here immediately. Why are you doing this? Because I have no wish to end my life on the hangman's gallows. With your help, I could return to Spain with a full pardon. You want me to plead your pardon? I want your word for my safe conduct to Spain. Or would you prefer to remain here with Barbarossa? You have my word. I will go with you. No. I will follow when you're safely on your way. Wait. there. My men will guide you. Is the Countess alone now? Yeah, she's in there. to the beauty he can find in every moment. Search the whole camp. She's gone, and with our gold. I warned you to guard her more carefully. Assemble our forces. Prepare our ships. We sail tonight. And our destination? Her destination, Havana. I will destroy Havana and everybody in it. You cannot attack Havana. Do as I say! This time, I go with you. Yes, Dr. It's time you go with me. We will end our forces outside Havana tonight. All ships are ready to anchor. Signal our men and equipment to land. Aye, aye, sir. When we strike the shore, our ships will withdraw to North Bay and wait. But if we have to fall back, North Bay is a full day's march from Havana. And the last place the Spanish would look for our fleet, we attack at dawn. Over the side, men. Bash that cannon! Yes! I know you're telling the truth. I swear it. At dawn tomorrow, he will attack Havana. You wouldn't dare. 
This man lies. With all our troops here, he wouldn't be so foolish. I tell you, he plans the destruction of Havana and everyone in it. He thinks you killed Pegleg. Pegleg? Oh, no. I had to kill him to cover your escape. Why should the death of one of these pirates upset you, senorita? I think I know. From your attitude towards my son since your return, I wonder why you came back at all. Mother, enough. Barbarossa's forces ashore, our fleet can sink his ships. Barbarossa reasons eight leagues in front of you. While the Spanish fleet is searching, his ships will be safe at anchor at North Bay. North Bay? Yes, Excellency. And now, will I receive recognition for my services? Of course. Jose! No word of Barbarossa's presence. No word of his plans. No word of his attack will leave this room. I will tell nothing. I will do anything you say. And say your prayers. Oh, no, Excellency. No. I'll return all your gold. All the ransom, all of it. What trickery is this? Barbarossa has my gold. No. He was sending it back to you with peg leg. Is that the truth? Yes. I swear it. To show you it meant nothing to him. I trust you gave Barbarossa good reason for his sentimentality. Uh, I have it safely hidden. I'll lead you directly to it. Excellency. No! No! <laughs> Play for higher stakes. You're mad. I hope he destroys you. I'll let her out of your sight. I'll arrange for a carriage. You'll be safe out at our plantation when Barbarossa attacks. And you? I go to prepare General Goiti. Prepare? In my own way. Your son will be in command of Hispaniolo when Barbarossa finishes with our boastful general. <laughs> All out with him, General. He's spoiling the party. No, no, ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We are being put to shame by the conscientiousness of Captain Salcedo. He wishes to leave the warmth of his newly returned fiance <laughs> and go sailing out to hunt Barbarossa. <laughs> I told you she brought back news of his whereabouts. Take what ships you need for 200 men. The general takes good care to ensure the failure of my mission in advance. Explain that. 200 men are hardly a match for Barbarossa. I did not realize your meeting with Barbarossa had left you so nervous, Captain. <laughs> I admit I would feel more confident with additional troops at my disposal. And you, gentlemen, would 200 Spanish troops under your command leave you nervous? <laughs> you could scatter Barbarossa and his rabble with half that number of Spanish women. <laughs> and yet the general rests here with 1,500 men. Well, I seek an encounter with a foe who wouldn't dare attack Havana. Send him back to Spain with his excuses. No. I'll do better than that. I will retain 200 troops here in Havana. The rest of the garrison, 1,500 men, are at your immediate disposal and our fleet. Or do you require more? That will be quite sufficient for my purposes. You'll have no excuses this time, Captain. You will hear no excuses this time, General. Let's hope he encounters Barbarossa. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, 
Where's those men? Must be out of Havana before dawn. What is our course? North Bay. Men and guns are ashore. Good. We will join them. Lead our ships to North Bay. At once. I hear nothing. Hold your course to North Bay. To your post! You're right. Cannon fire back in Havana. Barbara Rosa, you need not fear for my son. He is on his way to destroy Barbarossa's fleet. Proceed. Proceed, driver.
revenge for those women and babies. Barbarossa, where is he? An interesting question. Barbarossa is most anxious to find you. Salcedo sent the wrong message to save his neck. But he didn't send me. Salcedo was not in Havana. We should find out in a matter of minutes. The city is mine. But you take an empty city. Salcedo and a whole garrison are racing to sink your ships. They will not find my ships. Will he find them in North Bay? How did you know? Through Renzo. Renzo has been in Havana? Selling your plan of attack to Salcedo. That may be. Renzo has not been with us since dawn. That's true. He boasted he killed Pegleg and stole the gold you were returning. Renzo will regret his betrayal. He's past revenge. He's dead. But you, you, you must hurry to save your ship so your retreat will be cut off. He outnumbers you. He will destroy you. Isn't that what you wanted? No. No, Barbarossa. We shall see. You must reach North Bay before Salcedo. Give the word. Fall back. Fall back! Fall back! Fall back! Fall back! Fall back! But if you lie to me... We're using every inch of canvas. Barbarossa, the pace is too fast. The pace of the sun is faster. How much further, Barbarossa? North Bay and the truth lie just below the crest of this hill. I could have taken Havana. Was this another trick to save Salcedo's hide? Oh, no, Barbarossa. Please believe me. If you're lying, I'll make Havana an epitaph to the stupidity of all men who ever believed in the words of women. Look, Barbarossa, look! The Spanish! The fleet's still there. It was only a skeleton crew. We'll have no difficulty recapturing them. Men in cannon, sir, on the crest of the ridge. Barbarossa and her leader. She must have warned him to break off his attack on Havana. Then you knew he was to attack Havana and gave no warning. I plan my reasons my own, Captain. Keep a civil tongue in your head or I'll throw you in irons. We can take no chances on Barbarossa boarding his ships. Train our guns on the road along the cliff. Then signal our fleet to sink every vessel in the bay. Signal of the fleet. Open fire. Aye, aye, sir. Fire! ships. I failed. I was too late with my warning. Too late to save our fleet, yes, but not my faith in you. You weren't lying to me. Can you forgive me for doubting you? Barbarossa, what can we do? Shall I give the order to fall back? No. Our only chance for escape lies here by the sea. Yes, but if we fall back, if we fall back toward Havana, there were merchant ships in the harbor. 
Their garrison at Havana has been reinforced by now. We'd have Salcedo's 1,500 men at our backs. What can we hope for then? Only his blind desire to revenge himself on me. Let's hope it leads him to play into our hands. Let's get to the beach. Gentlemen, I have destroyed Barbarossa's fleet. Now I shall destroy Barbarossa. I want every fighting man and all my artillery ashore. Yes, sir. We'll hunt down every last one of those cutthroats. The last boatload, sir. Post those men as guards along the beach. Yes, sir. Two for all departed orders, sir. Send out patrols. Report at once any contact with the enemy. Yes, sir. More men over there. Cover that cannon. We'll flush them out of their cover soon enough. They won't escape. Bring up more powder. The cannon's over here. Closing in on all sides, Master. Leaving nothing but a deck watch on those ships. If we could only get to those longboats. The beach guard has only some 20 men. I know. But one shot, one outcry, and there'd be a thousand. Located them. Where? In the thickets, about a quarter mile along the hillside. Good. Pass the word along to start an advance all along the line. Yes, sir. Turn back, men. Turn back. We've been seen. One of their patrols. I heard no firing. They drew back. The leader's gone to report. This means the end, doesn't it? Someone's coming. this glade, one at a time, and move quietly. A gift from heaven itself. Ramon, Pablo, you men. to do. Yes, Master. Master. Who's in command here? I am. Where your relief? Report the Captain Salcedo on the ridge at once. All right, assemble you bilge rats. On the double. Fall in. Follow me.
moving. I want Barbarossa completely encircled before we attack. Yes, sir. Fire Ahead, sir. Beach guard reporting is ordered. Who's orders? You mean you mean you left the boats unguarded? Well, the captain of the garrison ordered us up here. What officer? It's a trick to the beach. Give the alarm. Down there, hell oh, you then. fool! Salcedo? Price of defeat, Captain? No, senor. The price of treachery and treason. You were willing to sacrifice Savannah for personal vengeance. I arrest you in the name of the king. Take him away. I'd like to see the expression on Salcedo's face when he has to explain how the entire fleet was tall and fell What can he say? Uh, Your Excellency, I seem to have misplaced the fleet. I left it right there at the edge of the ocean, and when I looked back, it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> what course shall I set, Barbarossa? Tortuga, I suppose. Oh, no, Barbarossa. We would never be free there. I heard of a land north by northwest, open to all men who wish to be free, the Americas. Set the course, Captain. Aye, aye, sir. 